Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a question here. This is from uh, Night Fury. Uh, that's the email username. And uh, the heading on this email is, should I sell my Nikon D5500 and buy a Canon 200D SL2? Interesting question because um, the D5500 is arguably a higher level body than the SL2 in the Nikon system, and he's looking to go to a smaller, lighter, less expensive body in the Canon system. Let's see why. Hey, Matt, I really need an advice about this because this thought has been eating with me uh, the last couple of months. I own a Nikon D5500, which I bought last year before the Canon SL2 was released. I bought it because I need a DSLR for my photography course, and so instead of waiting for the SL2, I decided to go for the Nikon because they had similar features. Also, I would like to add that I didn't go for the 5600 because it didn't offer anything exciting over the 5500. I agree, and I've said that before. Now, after the SL2 was released, I was very impressed with its features, and it got some really good reviews like excellent photo quality and video quality with the sweet dual-pixel autofocus system. Now, I kind of regret my decision of buying the Nikon because with the same price point, or perhaps less, I may have gotten the SL2, which seems to be a better camera with better features like good wireless connectivity, Bluetooth, NFC, Wi-Fi, GPS, and also the dual-pixel autofocus system like I mentioned before. Although I'm more into photography, having that little feature will be a great additional feature to have within the price range. It is also slightly smaller, lighter weight, and of course, newer compared to the D5500. Also, the Canon lenses are cheaper than the Nikkor lenses. I still don't understand the reason between such price differences between equivalent lenses between the two brands. The Canon lenses are also quieter and dead silent during video autofocus, the STM lenses, so I'll be able to save some money during, uh, buying the lenses. Nikon recently released the AFP lenses, which are pretty good, but still not as good as the Canon lenses. The autofocus hunting during video still exists, and there aren't many AFP options available in the market. The only upside the Nikon has is the number of autofocus points, 39 versus only 11 in the SL2, and just one cross-type compared to nine cross-type in the 5500. Apart from the Canon seeming to have some amazing features, I haven't bought any additional lenses yet apart from the AFS 18-55 kit lens for this. I'm asking your opinion because once I start investing on lenses, I won't be able to make a switch to other brands easily. What do you think I should do? Should I stick with my D5500 or should I make the switch? He's got brackets. Keeping in mind that selling my current camera would mean I won't get the retail price, so there will be a loss. Is it worth it? What do you think? Please help me out in making this decision. Thank you so much for your patience, and hope you have a great day. Well, thanks for your question, Knight, and I can uh, I can hear your uh, anxiety and indecision in your email. Um, and you know what? All of us have been probably at some point done something like this. We've been looking at something, couldn't wait for the newest, what we really wanted to come out, and then we bought what was existing and then kind of wish we'd bought the newer one when it came out. Interesting that you're looking at the SL2. Um, I love the SL2. I think it's probably one of the best values in the Canon system. You did say you're not going to shoot a lot of video, but that's mostly what you're talking about as far as why you would want to switch. Let me just say that the Nikon 5500 is an amazing little camera, rugged, lightweight, um, top performer on image quality, great autofocus system. And as far as a photography camera, it beats the SL2 in pretty much all of those areas. Um, even has a better performing, the Nikon 24 megapixel sensors punch it a little bit higher weight than the, the Canon sensors in the term of ultimate ISO, high ISO abilities, low light, and for pure image quality, for dynamic range and whatnot. Uh, so as far as photography goes, you've got the better camera already. Um, as far as, now I should say, put the caveat on there, in real world terms, these two are so close as to be almost indistinguishable. But on tech terms, the Nikon wins. So um, the SL2, though, I love the camera. It's small, it's lightweight. It's only failing to me, really, is that it doesn't have 4K. And I can see why they put it out at a low price point. It's a budget camera. And Canon is now acknowledging that they need to move forward with more feature-packed more rich, deep features in even their lower stuff because going forward, they need to future-proof. They need to not strip features to be competitive. And I think they're seeing that. I think Sony's really taught them that. So um, should you sell and buy? It all depends on, you said you weren't that invested or that interested in video, not going to shoot that much. That would be the main reason. You're not going to get 4K from either of these cameras. Um, the SL2 is uh, a great little camera uh, but the only thing it's really going to give you is access to that canon lens system and if that's what you like that is a good reason to switch i mean the lenses are every bit if not more important than the cameras um, so 
And if you want the dual, if if it seems like you know you said you're not that big on video, but then that's what you're talking about is all of the advantages with the video and the SL2, mostly because of the dual pixel autofocus and the STM lenses, which are no doubt huge advantages. Much better system in that regard than the 5500. But if you're shooting video, the SL2 is a far better camera. If you're shooting photography, I would stay with the 5500. So if video is weighing in more than you're realizing, then yeah, maybe the SL2 is a good option. Also consider. I used a refurbed 80D. Unless you just want the really small and lightweight SL2, you could probably get an 80D for close to the price. It's just a little more upper tier body. Probably what I would do if I was you at this point is I would um, look at an M50 pretty seriously. Or if you're not really shooting a lot of video at the moment, stay tight with what you have and wait to see what's being released in, the, in, in this year. If you're really chomping at the bit to change something, it does kind of sound like this is eating at you. There's nothing wrong with the SL2. You are going to take a loss. You need to decide, is it worth that? Um, if you really want to do video, it, it may very well be. But if you're not doing that much video, then no, it's probably not worth it. Um, if you were to want to switch from the D5500 into something like the M50, then I would be much more inclined to say, yeah, because you got 4K in that camera, you got dual pixel AF in the 1080 mode, um, and you got an equivalent sensor, and I really, then it gets you into the, all the Canon lenses, especially with an adapter, and I love that little camera. So um, maybe that's what you need to consider. They've been on sale for very close prices to the SL2. So maybe have a look at the M50. What do you guys think? Should he sell a 5500? Should he get an SL2? Should he go with my last suggestion there and get an M50 instead? What do you guys think he should do and why? Let us know in the comments below. It's always great to hear back from you guys, get some feedback, some input, maybe some user experiences to help our readers when they have a question like this figure out and think through what the answer should be for them, what's right for them. And again, get into the store and play with, with these. Get, a, get an SL2 in your hand. Get an M50 in your hand. Maybe that will help sway your decision because sometimes until you get these in your hands – you don't really know if you're going to like them ergonomically, shooting with them, whatnot. So that's what I would do. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Let us know in the comments below. Let's help them out. Thanks for your question, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.